hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today's video we are decluttering my eyeshadow palette i've never decluttered my eyeshadow palettes so i have a few like i probably have a few more than the average person but i don't have as much as like all these big like massive famous youtubers that do this where they literally have like 300 palettes no <laughs> i don't have that many but yeah i'm actually recording this intro after i filmed the video so you can actually kind of see a little sneak peek of what i got rid of i got rid of a few not a lot but a lot for me like because i knew i wasn't gonna get rid of loads because like i said i don't actually have that many eyeshadow palettes to begin with i only have enough that i know 100 aren't gone off to like donate them anywhere or give them to any charity shops so basically what i did was like i just said like pretty much I'm not 100% sure about any of them apart from maybe two or three. So I'm giving them all to my sister. We're just going to get into the video now. This intro isn't going to be very long. But please make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe. And let's get into it. Okay, so this is my eyeshadow palette drawer. It's honestly, it's just too much. Never actually decluttered my eyeshadow palettes at all. I have loads of stuff in here that needs to be gotten rid of and i've loads of stuff in here that i've never even used like i've never decluttered my eyeshadow palette so like i still have stuff from when i first ever got into makeup so like some of the stuff in here is probably like five years old i'm just gonna start here on the top this is the be perfect clientele palette this palette is absolutely unreal i got this two christmases ago it is well loved and like i said literally got two christmases ago and i haven't hit pan on any of the shades this palette is like a proper stable so this is definitely staying i have this p louise wedding wish palette i've used it once and i actually didn't i don't know like i wasn't a huge huge fan so i might keep it and try use it again and see what the crack is but the um the shades in it are absolutely unreal i just moved my ring light and i feel like the lighting is a lot better now i have this uh, Too Faced Let's Play palette, one of my friends actually got me this for Christmas and I haven't used it yet, but the shades in this are absolutely stunning, so I'm definitely keeping this. This is going to go... This palette is absolutely stunning. I know I'm saying it about every <laughs> uh, eyeshadow palette. The shade actually was broken, so I had to just scrape it out and get rid of it because it was going to go everywhere. I've used this once. It is absolutely amazing. It's actually such a good palette. I have this P. Louise Date Night palette. I haven't used this, I don't think. That looks like it's been swatched, but I don't think I've actually used this. Um, Or have I? Oh no, I'm a liar. I have used this. This is good. It's better than the Wedding Wish one. But the shades in it, I just... I don't know. Like I don't think I'd get much use out of it, so... I'm going to put that in the pile that I'm not keeping and then we're going to sort out the pile I'm not keeping and see what I'm throwing in the bin and what I'm just going to give away. I have to keep this because it honestly took so long to come and I was so excited to get it like. This Jaclyn Hill palette though, it is absolutely stunning. I haven't used it in years but honestly it is, it's really good. This, another P. Louise palette. This is the Lover Affair. I haven't used this. This came with my what was it i got like the december budget box or was it like the black friday budget box i can't actually remember but uh yeah i'm keeping this this palette i actually got sent to me so this holds a little special place in my heart because obviously i literally have like 100 subscribers the fact that even character beauty even wanted to send me something like made me so happy and i get so much use out of this palette anyway so it's definitely staying i have this catch beauty secret treasures palette Honestly, I'm a sucker for browns, so like anything with browns in it, I kind of have to keep, so I'm keeping this. These Revolution palettes I've had for so long, and I've never even used any of them. This is a I Heart Revolution palette, and like honestly, it is really nice, but I think I've had this for maybe three or four years, and not once have I ever grabbed uh, it or used it, so I'm going to get rid of this. This palette I did use once upon a time, I'm pretty sure, and it was really good, but again, I just have better palettes with the same types of colours, if you get me. So yeah, I'm getting rid of this. This one I never used, but I don't really see the point in this one, like, I see all the shimmery, like, sh swirls, 
in the pans but like realistically it's not gonna come off like that in your eye i think it's really really pretty don't get me wrong but i just i don't think it's practical so i'm getting rid of this this next palette has been used and abused let me tell you and yeah i still haven't hit pan on any of the shades i'm gonna get rid of this i don't need this my carnival palettes i'll be keeping and they have every single color like this so this can go i only just got this actually at christmas it was in my stock and it's actually from pennies and it actually looks really cute so i am gonna keep it and give it at least one try um i don't really like to try things with it uh, like at least using it once so i am gonna keep it and use it and then i'll make a decision of course like i said carnival palettes are staying they are absolutely unreal so of course i'm keeping it of course i'm keeping them like this one is used and abused to the last this oh my god got me through i bought this for my birthday actually i bought it out of my birthday money look at the state of the mirror on it and it was actually through the lockdown that i dug into this because remember when everyone was starting their makeup pages this palette was an og this is so nice but like that i just don't reach for it and i think the reason i don't reach for it is because my palettes are so stacked up whereas if i only had a few to look through i would look through it this one is unreal like this morphe palette is probably the best morphe palette i've ever used it was one of their like not their newer ones but at the time it was one of their newer ones now it's not because i think i've had it for two or three years but it is absolutely stunning this is good i did use it a lot but i actually think i smashed it by an accident i think i dropped it one day i think a lot of these are actually smashed yeah like i said i'm gonna get rid of it and by getting rid i'm gonna keep saying getting rid but what i'm actually doing is i am like i'm putting them all in a pile and then we're gonna sort out that pile see what's going in the bin and what can stay but i honestly think anything i'm getting rid of is expired so we'll go through all that anyway this morphe palette is the morphe 35p this was my first ever palette i have to keep this i don't care what anyone says it was my first ever i don't know why i got this palette but it is literally just a purple morphe palette full of purple i have to keep this especially because it's in the old morphe packaging this is stain shortly after then when i started getting in to make up morphe decided to change this packaging this is the 3502 this again i think is just loads of browns to be honest yeah really really pretty oh my god have to keep it especially because i have the 3503 they just i just love them be perfect man manifest palette another really really good palette but again like be perfect just must i don't know have faulty eyeshadows because again these two came broken but again this palette is really really good this as a blush shade is absolutely unreal i have this it's a technique highbrow brow kit look the tape is actually still on it i've never used this i'm gonna get rid of that this is the atmosphere manifest palette from be perfect i think this was like a limited edition one never used literally brand new but i'm definitely keeping it because it looks absolutely stunning i have this oh my glam blooming gorgeous palette this is really good and um, this is actually my mom's <laughs> so why i have it in here i do not know but i have used it a bunch of times and in fairness it is absolutely gorgeous it's really really nice i have this beauty bay palette it's the fiery palette really really good loads of shade but yeah this palette is absolutely unreal i also have this which is the very same as that except it's just the matte shades out of it i think i am gonna get rid of this i absolutely do love this palette and it's really handy for traveling but i don't need the big one and the small one and i think i would rather keep the big one this be perfect lmd palette i have had this for ages the contour of this as you can see it has been scraped to the bottom it's gone was absolutely amazing i always said they should have came out with a contour for this and i don't want to buy the new one because the new one is meant to be like a remastered one i don't think it's the same this literally says 24 months i think i've had this for about four years this is gonna go this morphe palette is really bad this is the one i was on about where you literally have to scrape and another one i think i got rid of the other one though i don't know maybe i see it there it's just i don't need it if i kept those other three morphe palettes they all have brown ones in it even the purple one has brown ones then i don't need this one i have this the balm palette 
this has definitely gone off because it literally says 12 months on the back. I think I've had this for maybe five years. <laughs> I've had this for so long, but I am going to keep it even though I know it's gone off. I have these two Snazaroo face paints. Honestly, I wasn't a fan of these, but I don't think I was using them right. It's just black and white ones, so I am just going to keep them. This is from Penny's. It's Colour Burst eyeshadow palette. It was literally six euro. It's really, really pretty, but it does remind me so much of the Morphe uh, 3502 palette with like all these type of shades. So I am going to get rid of it. I have these two Revolution palettes. This is actually a blush palette, so it shouldn't even be here, but I am going to keep it. And I have this Revolution palette I am going to keep because one of my friends actually got them for me for Christmas. I have this Ingla X Mora Fire Up palette. I honestly, when I first got this, I wasn't a fan. I actually wasn't a fan and I was so shocked. I remember I bought this as... Uh, what did I buy this for? I think I bought it for my leave insert results. I think I got my leave insert results that day. And I actually got this in Dunn's because Dunn's started to do uh, Inglot. And yeah, I am going to keep it. And I'm probably just going to give it another try and make up my mind then. But yeah, I remember when I first got this, I just, I just wasn't impressed by it. This, another little palette from Penny's. It's really, really cute, but... I already have these shades, so I'm going to get rid. This is going to go... Honestly, I don't really use Sosu anymore. Um, After what happened with her palette and Kaylee MUA, I just stopped using them, like, and it's just... I wasn't really... A, like, not that I wasn't a fan of any of her products, but none of them were in my staple everyday palette. And I got this as a gift at Christmas, so I'm actually going to give it to my sister. I have this Colour Trip palette, Would You Believe untouched haven't used it and i'm honestly sad about it i do need to sit down and do a look with this because how beautiful is this palette it's unreal and like these at the bottom are actually uh water activated liners so like holly from the lockdown that did all those crazy dramatic looks would have been screaming to have this and i bought this as myself uh, i bought this myself as a christmas gift obviously to myself i bought the collection i bought the brushes the palette the sponge and the lashes and i just haven't used it yet i have this nikki tutorial beauty bay palette i have used this it's actually really good so yeah and i haven't had it for that long again i think i bought it just before christmas so i'm definitely going to keep this this little revolution quad i am going to get rid of i have this urban decay naked heat i bought this the last time I went on holidays, which was literally about four years ago, I think. I was It was actually for my 17th birthday. So, what age am I now? I'm 21 this year. So, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Four years ago. Definitely gone off, but I'm keeping it. The Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. This palette was my go-to. These two shades, Sauced and Low Blow. Unreal together. This Peel Louise Palette. I haven't used it. I don't know why I buy all these colourly eyeshadow palettes when... I just don't use them. I do need to get back into it though. But how beautiful is this palette? And it opens up as like a chessboard and everything. It's unreal. The packaging of this is absolutely amazing. But like look at those shades. They are absolutely stunning. This Essence, I like to mauve it, mauve it palette. This was actually sent to me too by Essence. So I have to keep it. <laughs> just because like the only two things I've ever been sent are from Cartier Beauty and Essence. So... And, like, I feel like, to me, they are big brands, so I have to keep it. I have this MAC Queen Supreme palette. Um, my dad actually got me this when he went to Abu Dhabi. He got it in the airport. It is really good, but it's just... They're, like... This is, like, a highlight for your face, and the rest are, like, shimmers. I am going to keep it. I'm going to give it another go. The last palette in here is actually still in its box. Aaron got me this for Christmas. It is the P. Louise Secret Sinners palette. I always wanted this palette. And I don't even know how he knew that because I think it was obviously just a lucky thing for him because Grant's actually started to sell P. Louise in town and literally always wanted this palette but I'd never pay like, I think it's like 60 euro which sounds so stupid because that other P. Louise palette I think was 60 euro too but I got it for 40 so it doesn't really count but still, look how beautiful this palette is it's absolutely stunning like i said untouched the oak is actually still on it, it literally just first time ever coming out of the box <laughs> so i'm definitely going to keep it that is my drawer empty i'm going to give the drawer a quick wipe down now and then we can start putting all my eyeshadow palettes back
all my palettes that is so much better because it was literally coming up to the top of the press and at least now I can kind of just fling through them a bit easier okay so up here are my palettes that I uh, basically said I was going to get rid of I know for a fact these pennies palettes are absolutely fine it says 12 months on 24 months on the back of them and these were only bought a few months ago because I actually bought both of them for a video so these are going to go in the pile that can go to family and friends this revolution palette says 12 months I don't think I've had this for 12 months I actually don't know where this has come from like I don't remember having it for a long time so yeah it looks fine to me this Morphe palette as much as I don't want to throw it in the bin it definitely has to go in the bin it says 12 months on the back of it and i've definitely had it for at least three years i know this is fine to go uh i'm gonna give this to jen because i know she'd like it and i know this is more than fine not none of it has been opened at all this unfortunately has to go in the bin like i've said i've l at least had this for three or four years so it has to go i don't think i've had this that long my sister got for me for my birthday i don't think it was my last birthday but I think it might have been the birthday before. It says 12 months on it. So I'm going to tell my sister that it is probably past the 12 months. But if she wants it, she can have it. But yeah, anything that I kind of know has gone off. But is still like, to me, is alright. I'm going to ask my sister. And then if she doesn't want it, it can go in the bin. This Technique Brow Palette says 24 months. And I definitely don't think I've had it for 24 months. So I'm going to say it to my sister because I'm not 100% sure. I and mean, if she wants it, she can have it. This. I have had for so long it is definitely going in the bin this i think my mom actually brought this back for me when they went to um on holidays last year and i didn't go with them uh so i don't think it's gone off it says 12 months i'm gonna keep it and give it to my sister this is 1000 percent gone off my sister bought this we got matching ones actually and I honestly don't think she's used hers either. And it says on the back of it 12 months. So that's definitely gone. I think I might keep. <laughs> I might give it another go. I don't know. I think it's just because it's P. Louise. I'm gravitating towards keeping it. Which I know I shouldn't be. But it's just. It's beautiful. Like so I, oh, I just don't know. I'm going to put it in the pile for my sister. And see if she wants it. If she wants it she can have it. If she doesn't I'm keeping it. This is going in the bin. Don't think this is actually that old. It says 12 months, but I'm not sure. Like, oh, I don't know. It's hard to know. But like, it's, it does look untouched, but I definitely did use this once. I think I used like this shade and like maybe a brown and like a nudie color. But yeah, I'm gonna put it in the pile for my sisters. And yeah, if they want it, they can have it. If not, I can go in the bin. This palette, I might ask my mum, does she want this? She might actually want it. Um, I know some of it is crushed. I think it probably is gone out of date, but like, I don't think the dates on makeup really matter. Like, maybe they just have to put it on there um, to have it on. Because like, when I say I have foundations that are literally like as old as the crack of time, like probably had them for maybe four or five years and they're fine. Um, now obviously I wouldn't use them on anyone but myself like I'm not I'm not an active makeup artist anyway so it doesn't matter but yeah I'm gonna see does my mum uh, want this and then if she does she can have it. This is the pile for the bin and these two piles that pile is for my sisters because I don't actually know whether or not they are gone off <laughs> and then these i probably will just give to my sisters as well to be honest so yeah that is the end of this video obviously i don't have like loads of makeup to the point where i could like donate any makeup anywhere especially because like i don't want to like i know i probably could donate it but i don't want to donate makeup if i don't know that it's 100 percent not gone off that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching please like share comment and subscribe and i will see you all in my next one